WSFA 12 sports reporter Jamal Kennedy is live from St. James right now. And Jamal, last time you were there, the St. James band joined you with jamming with Jamal. <laughs> Tell us who's in the spotlight this week. Yeah. Hey, well, I got to tell you, we're switching it up a little bit this week now. I know that we live in a prime spot for our HBCU marching bands. Of course, in Montgomery, we have Alabama State. And then if you travel up I-85, like you're going towards Atlanta, you'll hit Tuskegee, where they've got Tuskegee University. And I'll say this, those marching bands have a ton of influence, and they're making a big impact on our high school kids today. I make no puns about uh, how important uh, the culture is to my students. Carver Montgomery Band Director Brandon Williams is an alumnus of the Alabama State Mighty Marching Hornets. He's brought that energy to his band at Carver. Make sure that we go out and uh, make sure these students are not only given the opportunity to be uh, seen, but of course enjoy what they need to be doing. That comes through the type of music they play, and it's one of the reasons senior Brian Sanchez enjoys being a part of his band. Mr. Williams always had some crazy song he fell up nowhere. <laughs> and like at first I don't know what the song is, but then I go home, I listen to it, and it's like this song is actually really good. I actually really like the song. Up north along I-85 in Tuskegee, they're marching to the beat of a different drum. You can't just go out there and just be lackluster. Tuskegee University's Crimson Piper Band inspired BTW Tuskegee High School sophomore Trayvon Butler. Just seeing how hyped they are and all the different um, things that they do when it comes to like playing um, or just when they're in the stands. It really inspired me to push myself more in high school band to prepare myself for a college band. BTW Tuskegee Band Director Lydia Floyd says she wants her students to have that energy. You have to have energy and you have to have pride in what you're doing because it's going to show on and off the field. All right, Val, you can go to just about any of these MPS schools here in Montgomery and you'll find an Alabama State Mighty Margin Hornets alumnus leading those high school marching bands. But I know you, Val, and I know you're proud of your Alabama A&M Mighty Margin Maroon and White. That's right, right on 65. Thanks a lot, Jamal. And we will have more <laughs> on your game of the week coming up in sports at 6.